Now, usually videos on this channel are Nintendo related, but with Black Friday behind us and the holiday season quickly approaching, there's going to be one property so impossible to escape from, one entity so big, one force so- For Pete's sakes, it's Star Wars! Yeah, but what about suspense? Suspense my foot! Yes, Star Wars. The golden egg of a film franchise that keeps on giving. But with such a rabid fan base full of collectors, have you ever wondered what the rarest and most expensive pieces of Star Wars merchandise are? Well, look no further. Here's a few of the rarest Star Wars items ever produced. A long time ago, back in late 2010, renowned graphic artist Ali Moss designed three limited edition posters for the website Mondo. With a minimalist approach and gorgeous coloring, this set of posters sold out immediately and originally was priced at a measly $150. But over the years, word has spread about the 400 print run and prices have climbed accordingly. These days, the artwork has been reprinted time and time again through the official Disney and Lucasfilm corporations on everything from t-shirts to keychains. But if you manage to snag an original set of moss prints, you'll be looking to spend between six to eight grand and that's unsigned. Also, it's worth pointing out that just one of these posters sells for around $2,000 alone, and tracking down a full set with matching numbers these days is about as difficult as erasing Jar Jar from your memory banks. If you know anything about Star Wars action figures, then you know that this next entry is one of the holy grails. The Palatoy Jawa with vinyl cape action figure is rare strictly because its cape is made of vinyl, like Darth Vader's or Obi-Wan's, rather than fabric like the others. That's it. Oh, and up until 2014, there have only been six known to have survived, still in box, since its release in 1978. The UK produced toy is now worth more than 16,500 US dollars, and honestly, even that number is a little outdated, with the recent Star Wars hype likely increasing old merchandise's value by a significant amount. Rare action figures based on tertiary characters not your thing? Well then, how about something almost as recognizable as Darth Vader himself? Luke's iconic lightsaber. Now, at this point in the episode, we're really getting into memorabilia more so than merchandise, because in many cases, such as this official prop from the film, there's only one that's ever been put up for sale. But I mean, come on! How cool would it be to say that you own Luke freaking Skywalker's actual lightsaber? If real aliens did come to Earth and allowed us as a species to only keep 10 pieces of movie memorabilia, you better believe this is one of them. And at one point, this legendary sword was on sale to the public. So how much would it cost you to have the most authentic lightsaber battle ever? Well, in 2008, this prop belonging to producer Gary Kurtz sold upwards of 280,000 US dollars, which isn't too shabby at all for a farm boy from Tatooine. So what could sell for more than Luke Skywalker's iconic lightsaber? What could be so rare in the Star Wars universe that it costs probably as much as a real Millennium Falcon? Well, what about the very camera that brought every child's imagination to life? Yup, George Lucas's Panavision PR 35mm camera is by far the rarest piece of Star Wars memorabilia ever sold on a secondhand market. I don't deny that Lucas himself likely has many props and models somewhere on display in his ranch that could outsell even this piece, but for now, this is the big one. This camera was the one that Lucas predominantly used to direct the original Star Wars A New Hope all the way back in 1976. Originally, it was put up for auction at $200,000, but due to an overwhelming fan base, eventually sold for an astounding $625,000 US dollars. This sounds like a lot, and it is, but it's also obviously worth it to some Star Wars fan to own a piece of cinematic history. Thanks for watching this episode of the rarest Star Wars merchandise. I know that this one was a little short, but there's just so much Star Wars stuff out there that I wanted to keep this one simple. Make sure you check out a few other episodes of The Rarest, and also make sure you stay until the end of this video for a huge announcement. Happy hunting, baby rhinos!
Are those jingle bells I hear? That could only mean that we did it, guys. We made it to December, and what a year it's been. And this holiday season, we're celebrating the only way I know how, with the gift of countdowns on your favorite game series. That's right, every Saturday morning throughout December, you'll get a brand new Top 5 Countdown featuring beloved series like Super Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, and maybe even some Zelda thrown in there. And the best part is, we're going back in time to the second dimension. Every video this month will have a flat feeling in honor of what I'm calling 2 December. Ching, ching, sparkle, sparkle. On top of that, you can also look forward to a brand new 5 Random Facts video every single Wednesday. Man, I love the holidays. It'll all culminate in a secret review holiday special that you don't want to miss. So stay tuned for 2 December all month long this year on Random Tent. And who knows, maybe I'll even be bringing some of my friends along for the ride. 